This lesson is one of two concerning forces and elasticity. These are your instructions. In general, you just need to follow the PowerPoint. Please make sure the sound is turned up on your device so you can hear the narration. Your instructions are in yellow boxes on each slide. And don't forget, if a slide asks for homework, send it in via Show My Homework. If a slide asks for Educate to be completed, don't forget to do it by the date that is given on the slide. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe what is meant by elastic potential energy, and you should be able to apply the equation E equals a half KE squared to calculate how much elastic potential energy is stored in a spring. Have a look at these six pictures and see if you can work out what they all have in common. Pause the video while you're thinking about it. You should have realized that these are all elastic objects. This means if we apply a force to them, they will change shape. And if we remove the force, they will return to their original shape. Now, this is only if we haven't exceeded the limit of proportionality. And we'll discuss that in more detail later in this presentation. When we stretch or compress a spring, we are applying a force to change the length of the spring. In physics, we call this doing work. What we are doing is we're putting energy in to stretch the spring. The spring is storing this energy and we call that energy elastic potential energy. Here are three examples of situations where we are stretching or compressing a spring to store elastic potential energy. Be careful when you're doing questions on this topic. E is the extension of the spring, not the total length. So you have an original length, then you apply a force, the spring gets longer, and the amount it gets longer by is the extension. This is just a reminder about what we discussed about the limit of proportionality. Remember, up to a certain point, the extension that you get is proportional to the force. That's the straight part of the graph there. Once you get to that point P, the spring is no longer going to return to its original length if you take away the force. So basically, you've ruined it. But that point there is called the limit of proportionality. There are two ways to work out how much elastic potential energy is stored in a stretched spring. This is the first method using this formula, E E equals a half Ke squared. Now you need to know what each term is and you need to know what the units for each term are. So E E is the elastic potential energy measured as all energies are in joules. And we came across this when we did our first topic on energy. And then it's a half K is the spring constant, which you now know is different for every spring, and E is the extension squared. So the units are energy in joules, the spring constant in newtons per meter, and the extension in meters. When you're doing questions, if you're given an extension in centimeters, make sure you convert it to meters. A second method to work out how much elastic potential energy is stored in a stretch spring is using geometry. So if you plot the force against the extension, as we've done in this graph, and you measure the area underneath the line, that will give you the amount of elastic potential energy. So this is a worked example for you. A spring has a spring constant of 1.2 newtons per meter. Assuming the spring deforms elastically, so that is before the limit of proportionality is reached, calculate the total energy transferred to its elastic potential energy store when it's extended by 0.2 meters. So first of all, let's write down what we know. We know K, the spring constant, that's given in the question, and we know the extension. Luckily for us, it's already in meters, so we don't need to convert it. Then all you need to do is remember your formula, substitute in the figures, and use your calculator to give yourself an answer of 0.024, and remember your units. This is energy, so your units are joules. Pause the video at this point and try and answer these questions in your book.
green pen your answers using the information on this slide. Pause the video at this point and answer these application questions in your book. Green pen your questions using the answers on this sheet. This question is your homework from this lesson. Have a look at the question, work out your answers and send them to me via show my homework. The due date is the 27th of April, which is next Monday.